What up, good people? And welcome to another episode of This Is Dope. It's your man Ahmad here with, you know, my impressions and, and my, um, I guess, thoughts on some of the dope things that I've encountered throughout the week. Um, I don't really think that this particular episode is going to be very long. Um, you know, I just kind of want to give you guys some, some of my thoughts and feelings on uh, what the main topic of this thing is, which is uh, Microsoft's event they just held a couple of days ago. Um, actually, yesterday. Sorry. It was on the, uh, by the time you see this, it'll be a couple of days ago. But they held it uh, yesterday, October 2nd. Um, I have always been a Microsoft hardware fan. I was a big fan of the Surface Book 2. I actually owned one for a time. Um, just my issue with Microsoft has been Windows. Um, big fan of their cloud platform, Azure. Um, big fan, obviously, of their, their gaming console, Xbox. Um, but my issue has been recently Windows, and Windows more specifically in a tablet form. I don't really have a problem with Windows as a desktop um, platform or desktop OS. It's uh, really, I, I don't think it translates well to um, to tablets. Now, could it? Yes. Uh, I, I applaud their um, their move to allow you to install, you know, Linux uh, VMs, which are really just containers within and run Linux off within Microsoft. I had one of the, I had Kali Linux installed from their store, but I, I don't think they've taken enough time to, at the time, they didn't take enough time to um, really build everything out to make the ecosystem what it could have been. So I wound up going back to Max, right? Because um, my vision at the time that I had the Surface Book 2 was that I have truly a tablet and a PC all in one with one device, no need to go anything, do anything else. This was before the uh, latest iPad Pros came out, right? This is maybe late last year, or I'm sorry, mid last year, mid 2018, that I did this experiment. I, had a service book for like maybe two, three months. I uh, love the hardware, love the hardware. Just really the OS and the ecosystem were a problem with, for me. Now, with that being said, this is not a bash Microsoft video. I want to speak about some of the things they released yesterday. Obviously, they released a lot of, you know, service products that are coming really, really soon. Surface Pro 7, the Surface, you know, I think they call it Surface X. Uh, that seemed pretty cool. Um, service laptop, new 15-inch, that seemed pretty cool. Uh, still all running Windows, yada, 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 right? Service X seems to be a little bit more cutting edge. Um, I believe it's running a, it's running on an ARM processor, condensed down version of Windows. Um, sort of kind of interested in seeing what it's doing there, but I don't think that it's going to make me switch from my iPad Pro over to that device based on what I've seen so far. Now, the two products that I have a lot of hope for, and it's cautious hope because Microsoft has done this to me before um, with the Courier, but I have a lot of hope for the Surface Neo and the Surface Duo. Just the videos, obviously I know it's marketing material, but it looks really, really cool. Uh, looks Hardware looks great, um, but I've heard they're thinking about doing with Windows on those machines is great. It seems like they're gonna kind of have a, um, a hybrid Android window type feel to it. Once, I'm not even a huge Android fan. However, I realize that Andro Android definitely is a much better mobile OS than Windows. So if they can marry the two properly, especially for the Neo, because the Neo they're touting as something that can double as a laptop with you know the keyboard that you can move magnetize on there you can also move it up and um you know there's a trackpad that uh, um, a software trackpad that will display so it is a, an incredibly cool device that's the one i'm really looking to get my hands on and the duo looks has a lot of potential as well it's the smaller device uh they're dual 5.6 inch screens uh it's really uh kind of coming in as more of a phone that's really seems to be the space they're positioning in it, it in is more of a phone. And if they do it right, I mean, I could definitely see myself being interested, even potentially switching, to be honest with you. 
Um, <clears throat> the Neo, however, is something that, excuse me. The Neo, however, is something that I have the most interest in because of the way it can be used. And once again, this is all depending on them doing it right. Um, it could definitely be used for productivity. You have the power of Windows and a software, that, an OS that's made for productivity. And you have also have Android that'll allow you to have some of that mobile, that, that mobility focused uh, OS in there as well. I think the major, 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 major thing with, um, with, and the reason why I am more partial to Apple products is because for, for me, the iPad is much more, and its ecosystem are more conducive to being mobile. The App Store, I mean, everything is great. The attention to detail is, is great. And this may be nitpicky, but when I was running the Windows machines, when I was running the Windows machines, the Surface Book 2, even the App Store, the the icons of the apps looked like someone in second grade did them. You know what I mean? It just wasn't appealing to launch the apps to interact with apps. Why is there are there bees still out? Sorry, I got distracted. I'm in Georgia, and as you can tell, it's pretty sunny out here, um, and it's October. But anyway, um, it's just something that 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 I myself, um, you know, really appreciated about Apple is the level of detail they take and the the way they think about their ecosystem right and hopefully Microsoft will do the same thing they have the resources they have the know-how um, they appear to be headed that way but I'm cautiously optimistic because I got excited about the courier back in the day when I thought they were going to release that and that never came to fruition so if they can follow through on the Neo and the Duo and execute it right I mean, Microsoft, you may just have, uh, uh, I guess, a new customer in me. I mean, if Apple doesn't go back to innovating the way they used to and Microsoft innovates correctly the way they have shown they have a desire to, then, I mean, I, I'm all about the innovation, all about, you know, things that enhance the experience enhance my productivity also the looks the look cool um so yeah i mean kudos to microsoft for the event yesterday kudos to microsoft for having the foresight and the um inventiveness to come up with a device like this apple i hope you're watching because i mean microsoft uh they are passing you in the innovation category and so um you know, I mean, don't don't get caught behind the eight ball um, trying to catch up. So that's really the the I guess the the video for the day. Once again, well done, Microsoft. If you follow through, that's where the dot 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 comes. Well done, Microsoft. If you follow through, please follow through. Looking forward to the Neo and the Duo. Apple, please step up and make this uh, a tech war. Tech wars are great for everybody. Innovation is, is so, innovation is, is, is key. Uh, companies being innovative, competing against each other. The consumer wins in the end, us. So, you know, like I said, well done Microsoft, Apple, step your game up. And with that, that's, the, that's really it for the video. Hopefully everyone enjoys the rest of their day. Have a great rest of your week. Um, go ahead and hit that like button down below if you like this video. Also, uh, hit the subscribe button if you guys want to, um, you know, get notified, or, I'm sorry, watch any of the other videos. If you want to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of any other videos that I upload. Um, once again, thank you for your time. Thanks for everyone who are subscribers. Please leave comments down below if you have any suggestions or any videos that you want to see me do. As you can see, I'm on my, on my deck now, uh, rocking my Yankee fitted. No, I'm not a Yankee fan. I just like uh, the, the, the way it looks, and I am a huge fan of the city of New York. But anyway, other than that, everyone have a great day, and I'm out.